Hello, hello, and welcome to Mighty High's World. This is episode 84, and the last episode, we finished this awesome smoke effect. And boy, does it look awesome. I really like this. No matter how much I look at it, I can look at it for ages and it still not get boring. And we've also uh, done some terraforming around here as well. So I did some of this last episode. So just to give you guys a look, you can kind of see where we're going there. Basically, this is like a really desolate place where there's like loads of zombie plants growing and other species that shouldn't really be here. The only reason they're growing here is because of all this poison gas. And we all know who made, who started this one off, don't we? Yes, it was these bloody robots in here. These guys here, like, I still need to investigate where their home is because I haven't got a clue. We've got some robot parts in a chest somewhere. Uh, so yeah, may hope maybe they can uh, help us find out where these robots have been hiding. Um, but that's the story of it anyway. So this is a massive poison pit and then it's mutated everything around it so it's not going to be a jungle anymore it's going to be a mutated wasteland where nothing can really survive or shall I say humans can't really survive unless they're on these platforms because uh, these are like oxygenated platforms so eventually I'll have like glass and stuff like that um, around these platforms maybe not the rocket and the spaceship one so we could probably build like a pressure tank or something like that or uh, have a spacesuit kind of dispensing thing around here maybe or we could even find another way of getting around so the possibilities are endless really but that's the kind of law to my base anyway this is why i've got glass around here and we still need to fix these as well i forgot about that so we need to fix that and this part as well so why don't I get some white concrete and we can fix these quickly and then we can get on with what we're going to be doing in today's episode. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so I've got this bridge repaired now and it's looking mighty fine and new and I've also uh, patched up this hole as well over here so you wouldn't even notice it got blown up, let's put it that way. And I uh, kind of need to do some something about lighting as well because... Uh, these dark spots are actually getting really annoying for mobs so I'm just going to torch these at the moment I think this place is okay I'm not entirely sure if mobs can spawn on soul sand or not which is pretty much what this area is or uh, slime blocks for that matter I'm not entirely sure I'll probably have to test that um, but for now I'll just chuck a load of torches there that should be enough light to stop most of the spawning because that's the hole where they that's the hole that's the uh, area where they spawn most at the moment. Um, but for now, let's get on with uh, what we're going to be doing today then. So I am pretty much out of smelting resources, meaning fuel, like coal and stuff like that. I do have my bamboo farm, but it's just really tedious to use. And plus, it's too, there's, it drops too much to actually collect it efficiently. Uh, so, instead of using bamboo for this super smelter, I thought I'd use kelp instead because not only are we next to an ocean, but it, it's a better fuel source than uh, bamboo as well. Today we are going to be building a kelp farm. So I've got some resources here, mainly never quartz because that's what we're going to be using most of. I've also got quite a bit of redstone, but the only thing we're really going to be needing is pistons and observers and building blocks. That's literally all we're going to be needing for this farm is loads of pistons and loads of observers. You need twice as many observers as you have pistons, basically. So the way we're going to be building this farm is, say the kelp is going to be growing on this block here, for example so what we do is we have a piston up there for example so it can grow one block but then what we do if we put a observer facing the other way i always get confused how to place these observers but if we place an observer 
facing that way and then we get rid of this block and then place this observer facing downwards like that we can get rid of these so this is our redstone circuit here that's all we need so if we get a block and we cause this observer to update that piston goes off and again that piston goes off so as soon as the kelp reaches that height there it will get um, broken by this piston and then fall up with the water so that's the only mechanic we're going to be using in this farm which is really quite simple and we're going to be building it in the ocean as well because it just suits like it um, and it's going to be underwater as well which is the reason why I'm using this uh, this redstone because I there is another way you can make it a lot slightly cheaper just by using redstone dust but water and redstone don't mix very well as we all know so uh, that's the reason why I'm doing it here and I'll be doing it underground as well probably on the sea floor um, so it's probably a good idea to try and get another conduit down here so let's uh, grab some resources and stuff like that and then we can start building this stuff all right ladies and gentlemen i think i've got everything we need now uh, i've got a load more pistons i've got some nautilus shells and a heart of the sea to make the conduit i've got some prismarine and a load of other stuff like cobblestone to make the observers and stuff the only thing i haven't done yet is uh fortune all this never quartz so why don't we i've got what two three three stacks and 45 so uh why don't you guys put down in the comments how much um never quartz we're going to get out of this so if you want to put down in the comments how much never quartz you think we're going to get out of this and then underneath that number also put down what you want me to see me do in an in the future episode and i will do so uh Put down your comments in the comment section and let's see how much quartz, quartz we get, hey. Also, just before I mine this, uh, I know some of you guys will probably be thinking, well, you can just skip ahead and then write the answer in the comments. So to that I say, if it's too obvious, then I just won't take any notice of it, let's put it that way. Uh, so don't try and ruin it by doing that so just put down what you think it is and uh, try not to go forward in the videos uh, to know and then put it down in the comments because that's just really bad sportsmanship but anyway back to uh, mining these so uh, I'll catch you guys in a minute alright ladies and gentlemen so moment of truth I'm just going to collect these last bits here and we have one two three four five six seven stacks and 51 so anything close to that and i'll be happy so again write down a number and what you want me to do in a future episode and i'll get back to you so without further ado we've got a load of quartz now so we can now turn all of that into observers all right ladies and gentlemen so i found my redstone box at last and i've also made a load of observers i probably need more observers than this and more pistons for that matter but i'll see how uh, far this leads me for now and then we can work out how much we need after that so i've also got a conduit over here as well which i've uh, just uh, be built up uh, which is giving me water breathing so at least I don't have to keep going up and down all the time to breathe so that's always good see the conduit power here so it does reach all the way over to here because this is a full conduit which is pretty awesome so over here I've got some concrete just to lay out where the farm is going to go so you can see there's some kelp here growing so that's where the kelp's going to be and then we have pistons along over this side here like this and this is like a 16 row of pistons as well and then we put our observer facing this way so it can detect the kelp growing so let's just if it was if it grows up to there this observer will detect it then we get rid of this block here and we put another observer facing down like that 
so when it grows the piston retracts and breaks the kelp and then it just drifts off up here so that's the farm mechanics anyway and then we can have a collection system up on the top uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how much of this farm I can build up and I'll uh, get back to you guys with an update alright so one thing I forgot to mention is that you can stack this but you have to go out one block so the kelp will grow basically on these observers because the good thing about kelp is you can place them on pretty much any block and it will grow as long as it's in the water so for example I can just use this block to grow the kelp then have a block here to uh, place the pistons on or a row of blocks shall I say so my pistons will go there and then I'll have the observer facing the observers facing that way on that row and then we just keep going up and up and up until we reach the roof of the ocean so that's the basic concept of this farm so uh, let's get to it and I'll uh, show you what I've done all right ladies and gentlemen so I've built one side up now and I'm running out of observers and pistons so I'm gonna have to build some more of them or craft some more but this is looking pretty cool now and we're also actually getting some kelps because I've uh, been picking it up and placing it down to uh, grow so this farm is actually working there is a couple of problems with this farm potentially uh, but I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem and that is basically that um, sometimes kelp doesn't grow all doesn't grow all the way to the top so we're relying on the kelp to grow basically three or four blocks before it gets destroyed but sometimes because of how kelp grows it can only grow one or two so it may not hit this but that only means that we're gonna have to uh, come back and chop it down because once you've chopped it down it then randomly selects a different uh, growth state so for example that kelp there would have uh, reset to zero and the same with all these if it gets broken as well so I'm not going to worry about that too much in all fairness I think uh, we'll be okay with what we've got so the next thing to do is to basically build this but on this side uh, so how I'm going to do that is I'm basically going to build it about three blocks away so this row will be the kelp and this row will be where the pistons are so let's uh, grab a few more resources and craft a few more pistons and observers and uh, start on the other side all right ladies and gentlemen we're finished with placing all the redstone bits now and did you see that drowned literally just spawn as i pressed record goodbye goodbye thank you stupid drowned anyway so yeah we've got all the uh so-called redstone in now uh it's basically just placing a bunch of observers and pistons and a few blocks on the bottom so i do need to add some kelp onto these observers but i can do that uh soon enough uh, you can see on the top that we're, we are actually getting quite a bit of kelp uh so this farm is working so the next thing is that's probably a good idea to do is to actually box this in using whatever block you like i'm just going to use uh white concrete because it just suits and it's the block i've been using uh but yeah i'm basically just going to block this in so this side going all the way up to this part here going all the way across as well and then the same on the other side so let's do that all right ladies and gentlemen so i've got the uh walls in now or the sides in now and this is looking pretty cool and um, we can actually add to this as well if we wanted to or maybe make it into a uh, underwater structure or something like that um but now it's time to uh actually put the collection system in which is relatively easy so the first thing you'll want to do is basically make a border around the outside so no water can actually get into it from the outside uh, if you've uh, built this like this then just do that or build it to the top of the uh, 
see or if you're doing it online then you won't have to worry about this so I'm just going to uh, fill in these corners like so quickly and then do this and then I've marked out the middle of this so this is going to be where the hopper line goes so what I'm going to do is place a load of hoppers going from the top of the C all the way into the middle all right so we've got our hoppers in now so the next step is to get some half slabs so with these half slabs you basically want to fill this half in or this area in with these half slabs like so so all the way along and all the way around here as well and the same on the other side all right so i've got these this side filled with half slabs now and when you're placing the half slabs on this side you'll hear the pistons go off but don't worry about that too much because uh, it won't affect anything so the next step is basically to get rid of this layer of water that I'm standing in so you could do this a number of ways I wouldn't suggest using sponge but I'm basically just going to place what uh, blocks all along here until it gets rid of all these blocks of water or water sources so basically all along here dirt's always a good one to use as well to be fair with you instead of cobblestone uh, so there and then you just get rid of these blocks like so and then the same with the cobblestone and yeah so I'll get rid of this and uh, show you guys what to do after but first it's probably a good idea to sleep as well Alright, so now I've got rid of all that dirt and cobblestone, I've also realised these hoppers aren't on the right block, so they need to be a block underneath this, so let's get them out again, they need to be on this block here basically. So the hoppers have been put down uh, in their space now, so the next thing we want to do is basically fill this wall, or this si side, with water. So we do that basically just by using the uh, infinite water trick and then this water will eventually end up in the middle. So if we just block off this like so then you can see that this water will eventually end up where, that hop where them hoppers are. So if we fill this line in here like, so like that then you can see if any item that actually ends up in this water stream will go into the hoppers like so and then we basically do the same we did on this side on the other side so let's do that all right so i've got rid of m most of the water on the this side now the only water i didn't get rid of is this side so we don't necessarily need the buckets uh, so this will actually create water flowing over into the middle as well so if we get rid of all this dirt it should all flow right into the middle where the hoppers are and that's exactly what's happening so that some of the items may jerk around left and right for a bit but eventually they're stopping going to the hoppers which they are so you can see we're getting some dirt and stuff in there so then the only thing left to do is to uh get rid of all these half slabs so that's the only thing we need to do and then that's pretty much the collection system done so then after that you can uh, decide where you want these hoppers to go from uh, so I probably do that uh, sometime soon but for now I'll probably just end up it going into a chest for now and then sort out a storage system for it soon but let's get rid of all these half slabs first day eh? Alright ladies and gentlemen, so I've got rid of all these half slabs now, there's still a few like bouncing around in the water streams but that's okay so let's pick them up and this farm is pretty much done now so we are actually collecting some drops as you can see we've got uh, quite a bit of uh, cobble actually, let's just put a block there quickly so we've got 28 kelp and also 51 which is what I've literally just been collecting building this farm so we've got quite a bit and we've also got quite a few half slabs in there as well so let's grab ourselves a chest quickly all right so we've got a couple of chests now so the only thing i'm going to do with these chests at the moment is add these to the hoppers uh for the collection just so we can 
start collecting while uh, the farm's running. So we need a half slab there. We can open this chest and there we go guys. So obviously it's not a dirt farm uh, but we should be getting some uh, kelp coming pretty soon. So let's grab some of this stuff out like so and there's nothing in there. So the only thing that should be coming through here now is kelp. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the fully automatic kelp farm. So the next episode, what we'll do is we will find a way of getting this chest, whoa, that's quite a lot of kelp, into um, a smelting system so that we can craft it into uh, kelp blocks. And look who's just appeared over there in the horizons. Yes, a uh, pillager outpost right over there. But I think we're going to have to wait for next episode for them guys as well. Because I am out of time for this episode unfortunately. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Mighty High. If you like this video then please click the like button. And if you really liked it then click the subscribe button. And ding that bell for further uploads. I'd be Mighty High and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.